So the first thing that we want is to establish the baseline. So I draw a horizontal as per what I had shown you in the AutoCAD video. The first thing that we do we set a horizontal line, okay, construction line that is, and then we get the aid of the set square along with the T square. I then move on to drawing the vertical, which is the corresponding 90 degree so we have vertical and horizontal line um, the information that we have been given is that the diameter for the circle is 60 the base is would be 60 there on and then the height is uh, 80 millimeters so with that one of the first things that I would suggest that you do every time you draw you create um, 10 millimeter what i like to do is from the 10 um before i do the 10 i normally draw an x construction lines i construct an x and the reason i do an x so that is when i set off the first time i set off the 10 millimeter on both sides take a look 10 and 10 so i have 10 over to my left and 10 over to my right hand side so the minute I start drafting, this is um, perhaps one of the techniques that you can use to start developing the speed and accuracy. Once we set that, we use along with, in conjunction with the T square, we use the set square and I draft a construction line. I draft a construction line as well. Remember at the moment everything is or must be uh, the, with the use of the construction line all right so so far i have the 10 and that spot or that place where the vertical touches this 45 and this 45 that means that that is the 10 millimeter that should go onto the horizontal so i have 10 millimeters and i can also draft off the 10 millimeters as you see so we have the 10 millimeters already established so now the second as per the cylinder, cylinder that we see onto the pdf the diameter as we know is 60 the front elevation will be um, given at it's 60 so we know that this here i will place the front this is the end and here to the top so given that it's a circle i want to start with the top so i know that it is 60 millimeter so i need to set off from this corner from this corner i need to set 60 i want to set off to my right hand side 60 millimeter and then with the aid of my sorry 60 and 30 because we need the to get the center sorry about that identify the 60 and there on the 30 millimeter okay i'll put that aside and use my ruler my set square so because you will draw the the front here below so plan front end so i once i draft i can start projecting vertically downwards you do not need to wait until last minute remember this is a center so i must project using the concept of center line so there we have it a center and given that it is a circle i then know that i need to set off the height of 60 again and i know 30 two points 30 and 60 then i want to go ahead and use my to draft the center line and i know that the circle is going to reach here to the top okay use our compass use your compass to draw the plan view and for right now it is construction lines so you need to be careful that you don't darken too much as you can see there we have a circle 
so this is the plan now i need the front and the height is of this cylinder is 80 millimeters so this horizontal line is a uh, axis and this vertical is the axis so the 10 millimeter away is this point here so i have seven six five four three two one and zero so we have 80. so once i set there one time using my t square i can set this off so that i can start working as well on the end elevation so you have front plan and the end elevation okay so you project the line horizontally across so i know this is vertical horizontal because it's a cylinder the same dimension that i have here would be the same as i have here so if i stand and i take a look at it from this side that's the same dimension that i will encounter when i move on to this end so to obtain this i need to use the dimensions directly from the plan so this is where as in the autocad program i showed you we need to set a 45 degree angle so using the x and y that intersection i use i set off a 45 to my left just extend you don't need to worry if it touches the border no problem i set off and i must project horizontally i see that is the line i bring down i need now to consider the center line and the run i need to consider the top line here that you see very important that we follow the correct process only up to the, the 45 degree this is a center line so i must project accordingly so there we have so what do we do now i need to project the lines here to the top vertically vertically downwards and when these lines meet the horizontal that is where i create the end elevation so i will start with this line construction lines remember this is a center line so i need to project as a center line it is important that you apply all the drawing conventions pertaining to orthographic so there i have it uh, the last thing would be for you to darken and uh, to darken then i want to note that from here to here then you move on vertically downwards you darken and this is what is the end elevation this line horizontal vertical and horizontal would make up the front elevation and we darken the circle to obtain the uh, top view so we'll start with the top and we'll darken this circle and this is where i place a I place a little bit of pressure onto the compass so that the line is being darkened important that when you use the, the compass you do not rotate from here okay you, that's why it has this projection to the top this is where you hold it and that's where you rotate the other thing to do would be to darken now the front i shared before and vertical I want to darken I don't need to darken the center line that is part of the construction but it's not part of the darkening of the lines all right so there we have the front elevation then this is the end elevation okay then the last thing would be to, to complete the end elevation so there we have the front the plan and the end okay and of course we cannot forget to darken the x and y it should project a little bit beyond the
the extensions of the drawings in terms of the front plan and the end and likewise the vertical axis it, um, it is convenient that we use the T square okay very convenient it, we, we, we face challenges I'm not saying that we cannot but we face challenges if we don't use the T square it, it facilitates the work so we have the front the top front end okay uh, below the figure you need to write in between here you need to set guideline below the figure guideline and guideline so that we can write the remember this is five millimeter five and here below any given distance somewhere around and then a five millimeter i draw construction line construction line if you take a note i have only used one pencil i won't change pencil as yet i just want to show you that it is possible with due practice to draw neatly without having to use more than one pencil okay and then we write here end this is according to the this is front I need to estimate more or less half as much of the entire width it's very challenging to write neat but it is important front and last but not least the plan so given that i am practicing i know that the next time i draw in orthographic i should have a better of drawing and there we have guys the orthographic projection the last thing to do would be to draw the symbol and the symbol is drawn as follows i need to find a space around uh, i would estimate here over this side because i have uh, space for the 10 millimeter and then i still have the area here to work on so what we do is first here a little bit to the top in this area i draw a horizontal construction line then i want to use my compass use your compass and you set your compass at 10 millimeter and there on at 15 so you are going to start with 10 millimeter you take a note i am going to set at 10 and i will draw here slightly close slightly close to here 10 millimeter and the other needs to be 15 so i will extend you can given that i have another um i have another or i have a small rule um compass i will use that Fifteen. Let me use fourteen. Fourteen, as I see, it will be too close to that. So I draw another circle. The symbol is important. If you don't have the symbol, ten marks will be deducted. So I know here the the space that I will be working on will be ten. So this space here I have to work on. So from that I put 10 millimeter from the biggest circle, from the big circle that is sorry, you put 10 millimeter and then you place at 10, 20 millimeters. Okay. So once again, I measure from the big circle, the, the, the point of intersection, I set 10 millimeter and then I measure there on 10, 20 millimeters. Okay. What do I do next? Once I have done uh, with the identifying these points, I use my set square now. First, I need to identify the center vertical line. Then I move on to the 10. I draw a vertical construction line that is, then the 20. Okay. Then I use the diameters, this point and that point. I set it here and I draw a horizontal line. 
horizontal then I select the diameter for the big circle and I draw horizontally across okay and the last thing to do to obtain this symbol is to join this point to the top and likewise this point to the bottom this time we darken we need to darken to obtain the required symbol this symbol denotes first angle projection We can draw the figures smaller, the symbols smaller, provided that the concept is clearly understood. And there we have the construction of the first angle projection of a cylinder. Okay, then you know the other information can be written based on the given instruction. Thank you very much.